Hello. Uh, it's been a while since I've done any game reviews and I'm trying to address that situation. I'm probably going to be separating the game review site off, the channel rather, off from the rest of my YouTube stuff because it's just got a bit too cluttered. So um, as and when there is a game specific channel for me, I shall let you know. But in the meantime, today I'm looking at Magnet from Z-Man Games. Uh, this came out in 2008. Uh, it's uh, designer is Matt Calkins, who I hadn't heard of, but the bare minimum of research I've done has <laughs> told me he's done two more games. Um, he did one called Sekigahara, the Unification of Japan in 2011, which is from GMT Games, and that's um, uh, set in feudal Japan. And as with most GMT games, it's fairly, fairly heavyweight kind of war game. Um, more recently, this year in fact, he's released a game called Tin Goose, uh, which refers to the Ford Trimotor um, planes, which were used for uh, uh, passenger airlines in, in the early days of uh, passenger aviation. And that game is about airline management, and I actually quite like the idea of that, so I think I might check that one out in the future. But anyway, let's have a look at Magnet. Um, fortunately, this is out of print at the moment, but... Uh, it wasn't a particularly expensive game when it came out, it was about £17, something like that. And looking on eBay and Amazon, it's not that hard to find copies of it. Um, anyway, as is fairly obvious from here, it's a abstract strategy game, meaning there's no, no theme as such, although kind of is. But we'll get to that as we, as we go through the rules here. Um, it feels kind of like a cross between chess and Stratego, but with uh, some added elements. Um, the pieces, really rather nice little wooden, wooden things here. On the one side, the side which will face your opponent, you've got one, two, three, four, all of them look the same. And on the other side, you've got numbers, uh, sometimes a cross in the middle, and also the king, who looks like, like this. And across, like that there, that is a trap, uh, which I'll get to. Uh, the idea is, there's two ways to win. You can either get your king. Well, what have I done with a king? <laughs> Viewfinder. Get the king into the centre space and hold that until the start of your turn. If he's there at the start of your turn, you've won. Uh, but if the king gets taken, your opponent has won. Um, so, how does it work? Well... You place all your pieces at the start of the game, facing the black side, facing you, black numbers that is. And to take a turn, you place the magnet on the board. So you're not moving the pieces directly, but you're affecting their movement by placing the magnet. So say for example, I placed a magnet here. So you look along the vertices, so we've got one either side here, and diagonally down to these two. So I have to move all four of the pieces that are connected. I can do this in whatever order I like, but basically they get pulled towards the magnet. It's the nearest friendly piece. So if your opponent has a piece in between, that doesn't affect whether or not your piece gets sucked towards the magnet and you can't suck your opponent's point, uh, piece towards the magnet. But the reason for that is that is how you take take their pieces so say for example that was there and I placed a magnet where I have it would pull this one space towards the magnet and I'd take that piece and then I'd reveal it and see if is it a king no it's not the king so the game is going to continue on uh, having moved your piece towards the magnet you can if you want to rotate it one um, 90 degrees. Um, from then on, instead of moving one space towards a magnet, it will move two spaces. You can never downgrade pieces, but you can always upgrade them up to their maximum that is shown, which is either two, three, four, or in the case of the king, it's only ever going to be one. So, obviously, the opponent is not going to know which piece is a king, and he's trying to figure that out. So, it's not a good idea to upgrade everything and leave. A small number of pieces with only one movement because obviously one of those is definitely the king and 
as the game goes on, you're going to be moving, you're going to be handing the magnet to the other player, they're going to be taking their move, you're going to be taking your move, and eventually you're going to end up with lots of pieces all somewhere around the middle here, probably, and you're trying your hardest to get your king to the space and not give it away that it is the king, because obviously you're going to make it a target. Or you're trying to take as many of your opponent's pieces to narrow down the field for them. So, I've played this a fair few times over the years, but uh, most recently I played it last night, and it put it back put it back in my mind just how clever this game actually is. And also, I wonder sometimes with abstract strategy games, it must be the hardest thing to market them, because you look at this, it doesn't really look like anything, but as you play it, it really draws you in if you. If you're of a sort of chessy, <laughs> strategio, stratego kind of mindset. Uh, now I really enjoy abstract strategy games, but it is so hard to sort of distinguish them from each other and have masses of them out there. Uh, which ones are good? And I bought this purely on chance because it was in a bookshop, and I just happened to see it. And I thought, oh, Z-Man Games, they do good stuff. It's probably going to be good. And I think in some ways it's a bit of a shame because we've got all these games with themes and I do like that but sometimes something just as pure as this very simple mechanics um set out outcome that you're you're trying to get and it really does feel like you're it's you versus your opponent everything you do matters everything they do matters and so I think I'm not going to say this is an underrated game I think it's just a not very well known game and Hopefully, at some point, Z-Man or somebody else will bring this back out again and republish it and more people will, will get to play it. But uh, in the meantime, I approve of this game and it's going to stay in my collection, probably until something comes along and does the same thing but better, which is my general rule for keeping or not keeping games. And honestly, I don't see that happen happening, so this is probably going to stay in my collection forever so that's my review of magnet <laughs> i'm a little bit rusty so a bit of stammering bit of re repetition but i'm going to practice i'm going to do lots of reviews and i'm going to get better and better and better hopefully so uh, as usual subscribe and like if you like as i say there will be a second channel opening at some point in the near future and i'll put links to that as it happens but for now happy gaming and i'll see you again bye bye